Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Fractal Giga Maze. Most likely you have already seen the Fractal Maze and the Fractal Mega Maze on my YouTube channel and so I thought what is the biggest rolling ball maze that I can make that still fits on my printer. So that's the Fractal Giga Maze and it's almost 20 by 20 centimeters. So it's huge and it's an incredible, uh, incredibly difficult fractal maze. The production of this uh, fractal maze was quite difficult. So first I tried to make it in uh, PLA, just uh, pure PLA plastic, but the problem is that uh, my 3D printer, I don't have a, a heated enclosing, so when I print the plastic material cools and it shrinks and then uh, the whole board bends and uh, ultimately it jams into the printer and it didn't uh, work. So I have tried many things uh, like brims to keep it flat but uh, when I keep it flat even the magnet mat uh, curls up so that didn't work. In one case I even broke my 3D printer and it needed to be repaired. So then I thought let's uh, use my favorite uh, type of material which is the 3D printed wood that you see here. And it worked well, it stays uh, uh, completely flat, that's the property of this material. But the problem is that the material is not that smooth. There are some um, parts here and the little ball uh, sometimes uh, gets stuck on the grain. So having 3D printed wood didn't work that well. So then I thought, well let's uh, try a hybrid. So what I did was the, uh, the material and here from the side you can see the three layers. The base is 3D printed wood which is perfectly flat. Then I had a thin layer of black PLA which is uh, perfectly accurate and it has no grain. And then the top layer was 3D printed wood again and it's covered in uh, an acrylic sheet. So hooray, I had the 3D printing solved and the next problem was the little ball. As you can see from my original prototype, I started with a one millimeter ball and you can see it's really, really tiny. It's almost impossible to see, so um, it works. So everything works with the one millimeter ball, but it's so hard to see. So my solution was actually to have a three millimeter ball. And this is interesting because the alleys, uh, the maze is only uh, one and a half millimeter wide. So what we have here is actually a maze where we have a ball that is larger than the alleys themselves. But the walls, they are tilted uh, at 45 degrees. So what you can see is that the ball is actually leaning over the walls. And this way I could have, uh, so the spacing between uh, adjacent uh, alleys is 3 mm and the ball is also 3 mm but it still works. So one can still um, move the ball through the maze even though the ball is uh, larger than the paths themselves. So I have found my solution how to make this one. And this uh, 3D print is uh, available as printed yourself. So my question to you is how would you make this maze? Thank you for watching.